If you love using Google Calendar to organize your to-dos, check appointments, but you also love using Trello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can be syncing both so that you can see all of your Trello deadlines, all of your due dates, all of the projects in your Google Calendar coming up. What's up, familia? I'm Kim Jimenez, and I'm so excited to dive into this episode because I'm about to show you how you could be leveraging Google Calendar and Trello together. I mean, it's just a match made in heaven. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so here we are inside of our Trello demo board and really enabling this whole situation where you can link your Google Calendar is really simple. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that every single card that you want to show up on your Google Calendar, right over here, not in settings, over here on your calendar, actually has a due date on Trello. So you want to assign due dates to each and every card that you want to show up. And of course, if you want it to be on your calendar, it's usually because you're setting some kind of deadline. So really important, super simple, right? Set your due date, select it, you know, date and time, and then click save. So this makes sure that your calendar is actually syncing correctly. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is enable your calendar power up. So if you don't know what power ups are, you know, scroll over to power ups. That's gonna open up this entire menu and you can actually search by uh, calendar and enable it. Now we already have ours enabled and the way that you know that is because the calendar button or view shows up right up top on the right. So I'm gonna show you how to get here. That's your calendar view. Now you can see all of your due dates and deadlines. Your cards are actually showing up here and the calendar is actually a free power up. So really important to know if you're on a free Trello plan, you can have up to one power up. But with the gold plan, if you wanted to use that, you have up to three per board. So that's just a caveat, something to keep in mind. Now, when it comes down to setting up your calendar, just make sure that all the cards, again, you know, you can see them at a glance. Of course, you can always click on them to open up all the information in that card. And you can also create a new one straight from the calendar view, which is really easy and straightforward. Uh, and you can add the time as well. So I love this view, especially if you're setting deadlines and projects and that kind of thing for your calendar, it's really easy to use. Now, also important, anything that you have already completed, if you have um, marked it as completed, it'll show up uh, as a strike through project. So really key. And then we're going to want to go over to your settings right over here. So open up your calendar again, click on your calendar settings here, and you're going to want to enable a sync. So I already did this. This is what yours is going to look like. Click enable sync. And that's actually going to give you an iCalendar feed, copy that over. And then you're going to want to go over to Google calendar. Here we are and you're going to add a new calendar. Really simple, right? Add a new calendar, select from URL, right? From URL, not anything else. We got that, and then we're gonna copy over that URL. You can decide if you want to make this calendar public, but in our case, because most of us are using this for personal uh, purposes or for business, um, we don't necessarily need to have it uh, publicly accessible, although you could, and there's a million different uses for that, Super exciting, but we're not gonna get into that. Click add calendar and now when you go back to your regular view, you'll see the actual title of the board, okay? The title of the board will show up here. So you can see this is our demo board that we have up here on Trello. That's what it's called, demo. And that's what our calendar is. So that's really simple and easy. Also, you'll notice that you know, anything that has already occurred or is completed will be shaded in your Google Calendar and everything that is still pending will show up. Now here's a nifty little trick. You can also see the card URL of your Trello card and open it directly inside of Google Calendar, which is so beautiful in my opinion, of course. So just a simple and easy way of doing this. Um, the other thing that's really nice is you can see what list this card is located in. You can see it says to do here, um, to do, done and done. So that is also nifty and helpful if, if 
you, you know, have a use for it. All right, and that's literally it. Now you have all of your Trello to-dos and your deadlines and your calendar view, but then you also can sync it with Google Calendar. If that's, those are two tools that you love and you want to integrate. And hey, if you wanna learn more easy and simple Trello hacks like this one, I'm gonna leave a list, an entire playlist for you guys on our Trello basics, all of their best tutorials in one place. Definitely check out all of that in the description below this video. And hey, I'd love to hear from you. What other tool would you like to see Trello integrate with? Or what tool do you already integrate with Trello that you absolutely love? Let me know in the comments section. You guys always leave the best comments. I love the conversations that you guys start and all of your suggestions. So it would be amazing if you did that right away. Of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to learn more about productivity, marketing, and business via tutorials just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Un beso. Bye for now.